Okay. New products. Okay. Big release of Circuit Playground. Circuit Playground is our app that lets you do cool engineering. Um, What's in this update? Uh, well, we just did a minor update. And it's at the point where it's very stable. Yeah. It has everything we want. I think we got rid of all the bugs. Glowing reviews on iTunes. It is uh, featured. Apple featured it Aww. in the education section. Um, physics have, section. Yeah. Well, yeah. the education section, physics inside yeah. there. You can search for it. And uh, it's uh, being called the best app on iOS for engineers. Really? Who said that? Uh, look at the reviews. Okay. Yeah. We actually even highlight. We, we five stars. Five so, stars. So uh, with that being said, uh, Circuit Playground is going to uh, continually turn into different things. We're going to have a game for it. We're going to have all sorts of fun things for young engineers. We're going to have all sorts of things for everybody just to get people um, inspired to learn. So imagine if Angry Birds was teaching electronics. Or imagine if there is... All it taught me was to hate ham. Yeah. <laughs> um, or imagine if like, you know, Zelda was actually building a circuit board. You know, imagine those things. Well, this is the first step. And the first step is to introduce you to Circuit Playground, the app. And uh, Adabot makes an appearance in this new video about Circuit Playground, the current version, and all the things it does. And Colin, who's just recently joined as a creative engineer, did the video. Made with, a lovely video. With uh, the staff. Let's see this video. This is going to be great. This is kind of Adabot's debut. All right. Okay. He's ready. On the big screen. Okay. Here at Adafruit Industries, we've designed Circuit Playground as a powerful tool for all electronics makers. From seasoned veterans to curious hardware hackers and even us, we use it here at Adafruit headquarters. Adabot, could you please show the people what I'm talking about? Certainly. Circuit Playground's PCB Trace Width Calculator to aid in his PCB design process. That's right, Adabot. Eagle Skill Badge. For you. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, hi, Bacon. What are you up to? I just finished a fresh batch of GPS modules. Very cool. You can show it off in the show and tell. Good idea. The next time you need a quick schematic for a 555 circuit, or could use a hand deciphering a resistor color code, Circuit Playground has you covered. Yeah, what's up? It is also useful when building and or designing robots. Okay, so, so um, uh, I just want to point out that Adabot actually operated the uh, iPad. Yeah. It's good. Adabot's capacitive. That's right. Those were all actual, that was an actual Adabot. There was no stunt Adabot. That was an actual Adabot. <laughs> we only have one Adabot. Yeah, so I just want to say uh, that is uh, a fantastic video. Colin um, completely did oh, so cute. A, a, a beautiful job with uh, bringing something to life. Adabot's really important I definitely want him to be part of Circuit Playground. I want him to be somebody you visit. Yeah, and so you'll see Colin's more- Colin's castle. You'll see more of Adabot. Um, and speaking of um, Circuit Playground, so this week was a big week for us with new products. Circuit Playground, these little characters that everybody's been seeing soon, or will be seeing soon, and there's Adabot with all the little characters, and those look like plushies. And that's right, we actually have real plushies of each and every single uh, Happy. little uh, component you saw there. So here's some great photos. Um, we're going to go through these real quick. This is Cappy, the capacitor. 
kind of the older one of the group. And uh, we have um, a little story about each one. And uh, we'll show you them over on the overhead in a second. Here's Hans. Hans has been making appearance. We can skip the next one. Cool. So Hans will just show up at the end of the show. Here he is again. And uh, it took us about a year to, to, to get these right. It's, uh, no one's ever made electric, uh, electronic components as plushies. So um, these are real. Um, we have thousands of these. They're selling very briskly. I, um, I'm worried that one, set, you know, one will uh, sell out before the other. This is Mo the Resistor. Connie. Oh, and they have like bendy legs so that the yeah. legs have wire in them so you can pose them or insert them into your circuit board. <laughs> yeah. I think it's kind of cute. You can also have them. Yeah. Well, we'll go to the overhead in a second and show you them. But these are really high quality. We wanted to make sure that they were accurate. We wanted to make sure that they were um, cuddly and cute. We wanted to make sure they were beautiful. We wanted to make sure they were well made. Um, this was a big deal for us. We never manufactured stuff like this before. Uh, this is Gus, the green LED. And then um, there's one LED that's still um, uh, a little late to arrive, and this is Billy. And uh, Billy's actually my favorite one, so it figures. Billy uh, is a blue LED, and uh, she sings the blues. She's named after Billy Holiday. Yeah. So all of these are also being made into uh, Muppets, or the right term, puppets, um, that'll be on our kids' show that we're working on. So each one of these, and these will also show up in our game that we're working on. So mm -hmm. let me go to the overhead real quick. If you want to show each one real quick, okay. Lady Ada. This is Hans, which you've already seen. Yeah. Five, five, five. And yeah. He's got eight little legs, and then the legs are bendable, so you can you can have him sit up or like wave. That's kind of cute. Or like be very shy. <laughs> and this is the electrolytic capacitor, Cappy. Yeah. And he's got the uh, marking, so you know which side is negative. And he's got one leg is longer than the other. Yeah. Positive. And these all bend. And they all yeah. This one just bends, and There's so you uh, can. You can make him like sit and stuff. Although yeah, it's hard to do they grip the around head. things. Yeah, you can you can have it grip stuff. And then um, yeah, he's got the little venting area up here, and they all have these um, tags on them. We you, legally you have to have tags. So we thought we'd have to make cute little tags that ate a fruit on them, and they have a um, nice little paper. Thing. Yeah. Uh, this is Mo. Mo is a resistor, and he's got the nice squishy yellow with with stripes color so you can figure out what value he is yeah and uh yeah you can also I'm just gonna like side together and uh he's happy hello yeah we also have um ruby ruby the red led and uh the leds have a little skirt to mimic the um yeah, the leds have a little skirt to keep them up upright sort of yeah and um yeah this one's sort of roundish and soft and then um they also have a long positive lead yeah. So you know which way to. And for all the folks who are asking, we're working on a plushy pillowcase, so you can uh, a long one and a shorter one, so you can uh, have these uh, wow. a, a, on a bed and, and uh, green, as a throw green, pillow too. This is the green LED Gus. It's the green LED, and like we said, there's also blue LED, which she's uh, she's still backstage putting her makeup on. She's not quite ready, but we've got Gus and Ruby, and then finally um, we have Connie, the transistor. Yeah. He's got three legs. So we'll add more later, but this is the first round. Um, They're really soft. Yeah. Uh, we super, really like super these. Squishy. And so um, one of our goals is for kids, you know, kids worship a sponge, SpongeBob. Why not have something that can teach them about stuff? Here's an LED. This is what's inside of a phone, or this is one of the things on a computer. So um, we think it's- not quite to scale. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty <laughs> close though. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. We We're going to skip Hansa, Hansa. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we'll probably be adding more um, parts. I mean, there's lots of parts that we didn't have, like, you know, inductors and, and uh, you know, different chips and stuff and, um, you know, big transistors and, yeah. and plugs and connectors and power stuff. So we'll see what we're going to okay. do. But we thought this would be a very good start. We're gonna run a couple of minutes late tonight. It's okay. We have so much stuff to show. But okay. um, this was a big deal for us. This is kind of um, our um, uh, our way of trying to inspire younger kids and their and their parents to um, just get the idea that electronics are approachable and these things you can learn these two from. Guys, these two guys yeah. are upset. You and you know, them. imagine imagine uh, for all of you out there who do engineering or makers, imagine if you knew what a capacitor was at a really young age. What would you? Uh, you'd be years ahead. You know, so this is one of the things that we think can help um, spark the young minds of people out there. This is ready for power. We need to get a battery. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
plug this in. <laughs> they do not function, unfortunately. There's, there's just All right. plushies. So uh, that's, our, that's, our, that's our thing, and that's why we did it. Okay, uh, next up, we gotta keep moving along here. Um, so uh, next up, this is, look at this beautiful photo that John Janeer did. Yeah, this is yeah. Um, a really nice brass sponge cleaner. Yeah. Um, some people were asking us to, to carry a brass sponge cleaner. I was like, yeah, that's a good point. We'll and uh, Hacko has quick. a nice one. Okay. Yeah, so it's got this brass sponge. This is like super glam. Like, it looks cool. It's, just, it's aluminum and they gold plate, not gold plate, but they gold, gold anodize it or something. And um, some people like them. I'm not a huge fan. I like a sponge more, but you basically you poke your tip in and then you kind of go poke, 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 and then it uh, scratches off the, the, um, the flux in the solder. Um, it doesn't cool down the tip, which some people like. I actually kind of like a little bit of being able to clean it off. Um, it, do, it does do a better job of cleaning off like caked on flux and oxidation. Yeah. I have both, but I, you know, it, it's kind of up to some, some people like this, some people like the other. Um, you don't need to wet this, you know, yeah. it, it stays clean. I don't know. You know, what's weird is now when I look at all electronics, um, I just see it as something that can be turned into a puppet. Um, anyways, what? yeah. Hello. Yeah. It's like a little robot now. Wow. It's like, that's like C-3PO. Okay. Anyways. Goodbye. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Everything is becoming, uh animated yeah it might be because i haven't slept yet okay next up uh back in stock thread they're on a different spool but we still have thread yeah. we have this lovely thread both three ply and two ply yeah all right more fabric look at this yeah we got this fabric in so now that we have thread in we also had a chance to uh stock some, some fabric and we have two fabrics conductive fabric. conductive fabrics so the first one is sort of a it's, a, it's basically a taffeta, sort of feels like. It's a, it's a little crinkly, it's a taffeta. It's a, a silver plated nylon woven. So it's a little less expensive and it's a little stiffer. It might be good for some situations. Um, it'll, it'll hold the shape better, that's for sure. Um, and you can you know, cut this into ribbons. Is this what's found in fencing suits? People want to know? I don't know what they use yeah. in fencing suits, but it's a taffeta fabric. Um, and uh, you know, it's used for anti-static stuff too. So I don't know. I mean. It's, it's just silver coated nylon. We also have a knit, and the knit is more flexible. So the nylon, it, it's flexible, but it's not, it doesn't stretch, it's woven. So like, you know, you're not gonna get any stretch in any direction. The knit is actually 100% silver threads, and um, it does have a little bit of stretch, not tons, but uh, it has like, you know, maybe like 10% stretch this way and then 5% stretch this way. So if you need something softer, this has a softer feel. Um, like this is a little bit tough to have against skin. It might, might be a little annoying after a while. This is soft. It feels like a, like yeah. a nylon, but it's actually a hundred percent silver. You, how do you connect, you know, electronics to it that you do wearable electronics? Um, with? you would use our, our stainless steel thread, our although steel silver thread. you can solder to. Yeah. So you, sh you can solder to this fabric, although you know, you have to be very careful, very, very careful. It is technically possible to do it. Yeah. But you have to be very fast and, uh, you have to be pretty skilled. Yeah. So instead I said just sewing into it with the, the thread yeah. we have. Give me a good example of a, a product project that you would use with this? Um, so like for example, if you wanted to make like gloves with a capacitive touch pad, this yeah. would be good for it. Or if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to add um, to the plushies, um, you know, if you want to add a c conductive thing for like a makey makey so you could touch it and it would be So conductive. like a soft game controller you can Yeah, make. you could do stuff oh, like that. Cool. Um, there's all sorts of projects. I mean, like I, I see all sorts of stuff. I see embroidery that uses this as pads. I see often if we use capacitive touch pads, because um, they're, they're large and, and conductive. Um, yeah. If you want to do electronics and you want to maybe cut out a pattern, yeah. like a circuit trace pattern, and then, and then, and then solder or um, sew parts in, in place. Could, um, you, could you wire up like a controller to control your phone or like yeah, playlist like and all that? Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's so cool. it's like, that's the kind of conductive stuff you can do. So it's extremely conductive. Um, you know, like it's, it's, it's very futuristic. Yeah, I like it's where cool. We're going with I mean, I like how we have, we have both the knit, which is sort of soft, yeah. you know, and then, and then this, which is a little stiffer. One, one thing I noticed people, they want, they always want to know, can this stuff block? Yeah, this is a completely blocking. So this is often, this could block stuff. Yeah. This will block any RF. So this, you could make a, a it's solidly conductive. You could make a very stylish tinfoil hat. Yes. That's nice. Yeah. In fact, this is, I mean, it's more expensive, but it would be nicer looking. Yeah. This year, conspiracies are out. Okay, let's go. Uh, next up, um, we're almost on new product. We have a couple more wearable things. We have, yeah, this is kind of a neat, this is a little magnetic staff. These are used for like um, name badges, but I thought this would be handy. Uh, Becky came up with this idea and I was like, that's a good idea. Um, it's a, a thing that you can put onto the back of the flora and that way you can um, 
attach it to your clothing or detach it, especially if you have a standalone thing where like parts are soldered onto the flora. So you can attach and detach it very easily. Okay. Uh, next up, congratulations to our friend, Matt Richardson and Sean Wallace. They got their book, Getting Started with Raspberry Pi Out. Lots of shout outs and examples from Adafruit in there. Very cool. It's stocked in our store. Yep. It's also 10% off tonight. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Okay. And then um, my favorite product this week. This is the last of the Perma Pies. Yeah. So it's a Perma Proto uh, crossed with a cobbler. So you yeah. get. Um, it's my favorite, like, electronic product that we Yeah. Made. So you have, you have um, it's basically like, you know, you have this, this proto board. But um, it has a header in the center so you can connect your Raspberry Pi and then you have all the breakouts and you have a couple rows of pins that are free for like if you want to connect something else. It's not very big. We have two bigger sizes. But for some small projects, you know, maybe if you just want to connect like a couple LEDs or a button or something, this could be a very easy way to get that going. And it's just yeah. like our Promo Protos, so they're super easy to use. Okay. Lovely. They've got the full uh, three color silk screen and a white mask and it looks really good. Very clear labeling, very easy to yeah. use. So this is my favorite like new thing that we that we made. Yeah. So we have this in small, medium, and large. Yeah. Um, last week it was our uh, little breakout board. Mm -hmm. And then um, you know the plushies they're new, but um, we've uh, we've been working on them for a year. And then actually you know what I like the magnetic floor thing that you know I like them all because uh, <laughs> you no know, I was watching with Becky she showed it to me I'm like oh this is like yeah it's so, very smart yeah this is so neat because you could quickly take something on and off yeah 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 that's really cool anyway. Becky suggested like nearly everything we have in the wearables category she's just yeah. been like excellent at just picking out the yeah. right stuff she's like you know this would be really handy and I'm like yeah that would be really okay. handy okay this is the end of new products yes.